I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no, but wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit if an onward journey to the Social District is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the Fine Secretary so we can all get on with our day. fell foul of the end-user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. Got water. Castle Chop oversaw the introduction of digital real-time in 15,342 AC. And in 15,342.5 AC, we held the first... Can't you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I... Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Secretary, let me just... I mean... Look, can't we- <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> uh, my, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary number 24. It is not my name. Anyway, I'm afraid All Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy payment process like everyone else. There were, there were the dark times. 
and slowly but surely light returned to the fedora. A light so, held what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. The first tube system routes were unveiled to the public. Felix? Hi, Ma! Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! Got water. Castle Chop oversaw the introduction of digital... We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <coughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Real time in 15,340... Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Back to the public. A landmark customer poll reflecting our continued commitment to being a... Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. A light held aloft by the hands of all water corporation. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time... This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. Oh, out of that daydream. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. I'm sorry, Professor. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Temporarily we hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision-making process that led to this, sir. But I assure you, it will be for the good of your... Destination decided. Enjoy the view. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on, what's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting and delicate. Ergo, 
You never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but... but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who... Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh, yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish, too? Ah, uh, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad! Ah, yeah top of the four buttons, right? Cool. Then I use the navigation knob to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. food. Better ask Cyrus about this.
çıkacağız. Seni nasıl sevdiğimi Ah, Harold. Perfect timing. Oh, Senior Tenenbaum. You too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ashk. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. What is Sonsu's Ashk? Yes! Sonsu's Ashk! Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad, what with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth bowering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really thickens. I'll try to check it out sometime. Our family has been in the plantain business here. What brings you to the lounge anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The Bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now, so at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. Finest potions. Potions for what is your heart desire? Look deep. Deep into the potion. the whistle again. Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow-release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. 
If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the- Sai, Sai, that sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry, Brad. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. Now they formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. you see that? Was that fish real? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. Okay, Herald Bot Diagnostic Report. Scanning. Scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation. Minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination, Agora Arcades. Why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while.
day and make your teeth so Hello smart. again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Oh, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenner Castlechop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenner Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness and the unpleasant albeit brief alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep-space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And, wait for it, yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. 
Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. <laughs> yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Harold. Get down to pickled everything. Good evening, everyone. Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Get snug, not stranded. A day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But, Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. You remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes? The blue and... ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. Activate the switch next to the bore to open the sample shelf. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. Do you remember your left and right? Bring it to the microscope and insert it into the hatch. Check the microscope, and finally, you'll see what I mean. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. 
Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no. I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're a microwave boy. So, you do remember me. Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you... I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him, which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. So... Dare I ask, what is it? So, Bridget told me about some kind of energy shortage and to ask you about it. Any idea what she meant? Hmm. Yes, she mentioned she may have found a link between something in the water and our solar wind pro It's speculative, and now isn't the time. That all? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll be off. Be good, Harold. Harold, when you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him, how are the details coming along? Okay. I will ask him, but, um... Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... <sighs> Don't mind me, Harold. I just mean Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, it's okay. Nothing. Run along now. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know! I don't know the exact decision-making process that led to this, sir, but I assure you... Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. So will we 
we get discounts on the other? You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Held aloft by the hands of all water corporation, which illuminated the many innovations. <laughs> 'o citizen oh hey captain at large call me Zoya please what can I do for you just doing my rounds do you need anything me no I'm doing great we really pulled it off eh oh do you want some help putting it back on uh, uh, hey no the announcement wasn't it epic and don't you think I did pretty darn well uh yeah there were lots of announcements and I liked the bit where you you Ah yes, that was a nice touch, wasn't it? Maybe people will see that I can be useful now, that I can lead, take destiny in my own hands. Destiny? Yes, destiny. Oh, speaking of which, I must get back to work. I've got an important new announcement to work on for Madam CEO. Thanks for stopping by. Traveling with uh, is the water. water. Have had to close the line temporarily for improvement works. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision making. All water, moving people every day. Overall, long-term tube. We know you enjoy traveling with utterly unconcerned water. for your own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard for the future of humanity. Harold, good timing. You can explain things to the major, can't you? Harold, come here and explain things. And yourself, major. I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? Hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, tell him about our plan. Harold, I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. I'm not in trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority and/or organizational merit? What? No, Major. I. If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here, not me, Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that, unless you're in league with him? I just meant, I mean, if you just relax. Relax, Harold. You're really starting to tweak my beak.、Uh, but, but, what did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine. I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long run. 
I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it! Then the case is in danger of falling apart. I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh no, Felix. Have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But, Major, what is the subject? That's right, Harold. Know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man, I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix, where is Felix? Oh, no. Felix? Harold, you've lost him. Ugh. Hello, Mr. Secretary. Uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary Eight. Or Secretary Twenty-Four, of course. Oh, sorry. I always get that mixed up. There are just three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so there's another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary Eight is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay. Sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly All Water Raffle Bonanza? Oh, sure. Wait, is it free to enter? Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity from All Water to you, the citizens of Fedora. What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries. A plethora of pleasurable prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water Public Access Forum. Okay, I'm ready. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. And... Looks like you were unlucky this time, but that's life. Try again next month. <laughs> 